Guys, uh, I think I would like to discuss something here on this platform and it's about foreign nationals in South Africa, right? I'm going to make it real quick. Listen to me very carefully, everything that I'm going to say. South Africans are angry and they are saying all foreign nationals to go back home. And that's the news. I mean, that's what is going on now. It's like they are having some hates in them and they are saying we should all go home i'm from ghana actually okay listen the question is are they wrong is it xenophobia or whatever you guys call it is it or are they wrong check here now this is my check they are not wrong not at all um i know for the people i mean the other people that are outside the country you don't actually know what is going on here in South Africa that much. You understand? And uh, it's not everything that you see on the TV as well. Me, I'm here in South Africa. So I want to tell you this. The way some of the foreign nationals handle things here in South Africa, it's sick. It's crazy. And it's stupid. I don't know if they are not educated or their homes are in deep, 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 deep down the value or something. I don't know. The way they talk to people, you will find out there is a foreign national talking to a citizen and the chest is out aggressively. And you know the people I'm talking about. Listen here, most especially Nigerians, when they are talking to someone on the street, when there is a little bit of misunderstanding, the way they talk, you see all those things, all those things, guys. You are making enemies for all of us. You are making enemies for the doctors that are foreigners. You, you, you see, they said we are taking their jobs. It's not only their jobs they're talking about. Let me tell you very deep. It's not their jobs. You understand? But it's the things that you do to the community. The things that you do to their people, their kids, their children. Check here. I saw on the news, I mean, a few days or weeks back, whereby an Ethiopian guy shot and killed a 21 years old citizen who was a foreign, um, who was a South African citizen. He was shot two times and the boy died. Right. It like this thing is so annoying to the extent that I don't understand. An Ethiopian guy, you came to the country to seek for food or whatever it is, even if it's water, and you are here and you still have the right to get yourself a gun to shoot a citizen. Are you stupid here? Are you stupid? Eh? I don't know why some of you, just because that you have some document to stay here, you think that the country is yours, you can do everything you like in someone's country. No, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Forget about your dirty works that you are doing in darkness or whatever it is. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about how you handle the human, how, what you do in the community, the way you talk to people, the silly threats that you made all the time. Those things are going to affect all of us. They are going to affect the students that are here in South Africa to study. The good people is going to affect all of them because you are not wise here. You are stupid. You're so stupid. You have to find a way. Find a way to talk to people. Find a way to do things. You go to clinic for free. You go to hospital for free. All these things and you're still disrespecting citizens over here. You're still sitting there saying, no, they are stupid. They are lazy. Who is lazy? It's your mother that is lazy. It's your mother that is stupid. Because if your mother was wise, you was going to train you in such a way that you have manners. You have a way of talking to people. You understand, bro? You can't take a plane and just come to someone's country and do what you like. If you come here and they say that you should sit down, you sit down. If they say you should stand, you stand. That is how it works. You see, I, I'm not going to say no just because I'm not a South African. I'm a Ghanaian. But check this thing. How many Ghanaians do you see them in court or police stations all the time in South Africa? No. You understand? Sometimes, you know, there was a time whereby there were these, uh, these South African citizens, um, taking a bread in a truck delivering, right? And they got robbed by Zimbabweans. That was what the cop told us all. I mean, they got robbed and they were shot dead. They were like, I think three people in the truck being shot 
and died somewhere in Cape Town or whatever it is. Bro, you see, this thing is annoying. Even you in your country. If I come to your country and I'm doing silly things there to fellow people, you won't like it. Me especially. If I'm in Ghana and you come to Ghana to work, I don't have a problem with you. You understand? But the way you work, what job are you doing? And how do you talk to people on the street? How do you amend with the community, the people in the community? How do you do things there? That is the point. Now they said we should go home. We all have to go. They are tired. They are sick and tired of us. They are sick and tired. And you know what? You someone said, no, they hate us. How did they hate us? It was us, we, the black people, the black foreign nations. We are the reason why they are like this now. We are the reason why they are not happy. We are the reason why they are angry. We are the reason why they said we should go back. Why? Because of our stupidity, our way of handling things, our way of talking. And Excuse me, it's not everyone that do the wrong and the bad things in South Africa. It's not every foreign nationals. But the thing is, they don't differentiate. They don't know the difference. They don't even know where you're from. So how are they going to be able to know this one is Malarian, this one is uh, Ghanaian, this one is... Um, no. That is the reason why if you come to someone's country, you have to do good. You are not going to get affected. Now, if you go to TikTok, you see this thing of, uh, uh, ma, what, Mambe or, uh, I don't even know if it's Masambe or whatever it is. I don't know. Who is doing that? It's us. Do a clean business, bro. You've been doing this silly darkness business for very long time. Now you've got money. Change it. Switch. Do something good to help the community. Do some business to help people. Hire people. Hire them to work. And they will tell me, okay, they are lazy, they'll come to work. Forget about that. Just do your part. Create business for them to work also. You understand? Yeah, I've created business there, but now I'm going home. So what? I have to sell it or I have to just switch everything off and just go home. And that is what you made us. The Zim, the Nigerians, the people. You see, one thing is that, let me tell you something. It's very hard. It's very hard to see a foreign national that comes from America, Italy, or German raping someone in South Africa. It's very hard and it's very real. It's not easy to see any white guy whereby they will tell you there was a white guy that killed a, 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 a young boy in Soweto. No. It's us. The black guys. It's either Ghanaian, it's either Nigerian, it's either Zimbabwean, it's either Uganda, or any African countries. We are the ones doing that. Malarians. And I know a lot of people are not educated. So this thing, they're going to take it in a different level. But it's not. It's a common sense. It's a common sense, bro. You get all of us involved. My friend was telling me, no, brother. No, I will say it. Can act stupid. You see, there was this guy that was fighting me the other day, a Nigerian guy. And the things that he was saying, bro, it was so annoying that. How can you call me a criminal? Me, I'm doing a saloon business. I'm cutting a hair. And I think he mistakenly over insulted me, saying, No, I'm a criminal. And I was just looking at him and I was laughing, saying, You, bro, you from Nigeria, you telling me I'm a criminal. But look at where you are standing now. You understand? This guy called me to come and cut like 10 kids. Né? Then when I finished cutting those 10 kids, He's supposed to pay me that money of the haircut right there by the kiss room. But he told me to come to a joint for the money. And it was silly. When I went there, this guy was arguing with me. No, they were not telling. I said, hey, bro, this is not my joint. This is not my place. I don't come to this place. It's a dirty place. Why do you want me to come and stand here so that when the police van are passing, they'll see that, oh, okay, so all this time, Big Daddy is here. Then Big Daddy is doing this. You understand? So he, and, and the same person that I'm talking about, he has been telling people he is from Ghana, but he's from Nigeria. Why? Why? You see, they are all sellouts, bro. They are all sellout. They're the reasons why people don't like us. They are the reasons why South Africans are tired of us because the things that they do in the country, bro, it's hurting. It's hurting. Even you, if you were a South African citizen and you were here, 
and someone is doing that to your sister or your brother, you're going to be angry. You understand? You're going to hit all of them, all of the foreign nations, because that thing, it's, it's, it's going to be here. I don't know wherever you're from watching this, but check this. In your country, if there are some foreign nationals there that are killing people, that are raping um, women, you understand? Child trafficking and all those things. What are you going to say? You're going to be mad at them. You're going to say they should go back home and all that. So this thing, guys, I think we don't have to talk much and all that. But what I'm trying to say is that uh, it's a stupidity of a black man because um, people doesn't think. Because if you think, you will know what I'm talking about. You don't come to someone's country to do as you please. When you come, you follow the rules, you follow the law. You understand? No one is angry here. They are saying this thing nicely. They are tired and it's true that they are tired because even me in my country, if I'm there and you come to my country and you're doing these things to my people or my brothers in Ghana, I'm going to be mad. Maybe I will be the one to even lead. You see? So if you are not in the situation, don't sit in your home and say that this, that this, that this, that. No, bro. They are tired. They are really tired. We gotta go home, man. And we will go. Just waiting for my boy to be maybe 13 or something. I just have to go. A few years now. It's not nice. The way you guys talk. It's not nice. The way you guys do things in South Africa. You don't come from your country to do silly things like that, bro. And I know there are some that jump the borders. They don't even have passports. They didn't even go for interviews. Nothing. They just jump the borders and come here. And when you jump the border and you come here, you think that it gives you the right to handle a gun, to take a knife and stab someone, to kill, to rob. And you still wanted them to like us. How would they like us? In fact, we don't even deserve a punani. Fuck off, man. This is crazy. Yeah. Hey.